Look who it is. Look who it is. Squirrely pants. Squirrely pants. Guess what I got for you, Squirrely? Oh my god, I left it. I gotta go back and get it. I had peanuts right here and I left it. <laughs> I have to go all the way back and get the peanuts. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and get it, man. I can't let that go, man. I gotta go back and get it. I go, but I'm gonna pause this. Uh, no, I'm not gonna pause. You can walk back with me. Got up this morning and I'm feeling nothing. Seeped from yesterday, pop out of my jeans. Oh. The date was 24 of July You hold my hand for the first time <laughs> that was a time Oh And my necklace that you bought me is gone And my heart hurts But I should play alone like there's nothing wrong Nothing wrong I can't move What's up, YouTubers and official dronies? This is Mike for Drones Are Eagles. How is my peeps doing? Another day, Kensington Avenue. Uh, got my medical supplies. I got hats, gloves, um, socks. Down here. Oh, last time I was down here cleaning up. What happened? They stopped cleaning? Oh, God. samples yet? That's what he said. He said no samples yet? Wow. Ay, senor. Ah, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I go live, which is every day, 11.30 a.m. here on the East Coast. 8.30 a.m. Pacific, 4.30 p.m. UK. Thank you for being here, guys. Thank you for being here. And like I said last time, walking in the street is the best medicine for this kind of cart. You see how quiet it is, you can't even really hear it that much. But when I'm on that pavement over there, it's like shake, rattle, and roll, you know? Shake, rattle, and roll. Shake, rattle, and roll. So I'm headed to McPherson Park, AKA Needle Park. Set up shop over there, see what's going on. Uh, again, everybody, thank you for being here across the pond, down under, all over the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's pray for the Middle East, what's going on down there with Hamas, Israel, and everything, the whole world. Let's, let's pray for peace. Let's pray for peace, guys. Uh, a lot of scary shit. Yes, I'm going to say scary shit going on. Uh, around the world and even here in America, there's a lot of threats going on right now So please be careful when you go out like when you go out with your family anywhere Especially if you're gonna go to a public place where there's a lot of people because there's been a lot of threats to our country uh, over this war uh, Now that our American troops are getting closer Moving in in the area now there's a lot of threats coming to us here, you know in our homeland especially with the Jewish community like the churches and stuff like that in the Jewish community, uh, they, they're being targeted too. They, they're getting a lot of threats. So if you're gonna be around a community like that, just be careful, uh, be aware of your surroundings. If you see anything suspicious, don't hesitate. Go with your gut, you know, go to call 911 because uh, you could save a lot of lives because the threat is serious, the threat is real. And uh, when you get a threat like this, uh, you gotta, you gotta take it for real. You can't like brush it off, you know. So, like I said, if you're gonna go out to any major events, like a football game, 
uh, whatever it is, man, whatever sport it is, just be careful, please. Uh, have eyes in the back of your head and just be safe, okay? Be safe. Uh, we don't want nothing nasty to happen, a, a big mass shooting, and your face will be on CNN right along with the other faces. We don't want that, so please be careful. God bless everybody, and let's pray for peace. Sorry, I'm breathing. I gotta stop. I know you can hire you guys can hear me breathing hard. I'm out of breath. Walking up some of these streets I have like like steep, like they go up, then they go down. Going up is the problem. You get a run out of breath real easy. Yes, a lot of it has to do with smoking. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, look at these cars. Again, I'm gonna show it again. You see these cars right here? They 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 buy these cars at the same place where I buy mine. At the auction. You see this car right here in front of me, this Ford? They want two, what they want for it? $27.99. They probably bought that car for like $900, $800 at the auction where I go. This car here, this white one, they want $2,800 for it. They probably paid the same thing, $800, $900. That blue truck right here, $3,300, $7,800, $900. Put it this way, all these cars here, Less than a thousand dollars at the auction, all of them. And I see prices from 2550, 2800, 2800, 33, 28, 2799. They got them all for less than a thousand. I'm telling you, man, guaranteed 100%. I know what I'm talking about. It's not my first time with, with, with this rodeo, you know. When I was a teenager and I used to come out here, I didn't know about the auction. And I did buy a couple cars from here like an idiot, but I didn't know, you know. But then as I got older and figured it all out, I was like, where did they get these cars from? See that van right there? They want eighteen fifty for it. Six hundred for that at the auction. Yeah, six hundred. So when I found out where they were getting them at, I found out that the public can also purchase them. So I went and did a little bit of investigation myself. Uh, once they open the first hour, it's for uh, these guys only. You got to own a used car lot to to bid on the cars on the first hour. The first hour is only for car lot used car lot owners. After the one hour's up, then it's open to the public. And I sat there and watched them buy cars, have car after car for these lots. And they pay the same price I pay. These cars that go for $28,000, $3,000, $800, $700, $900. Yeah, so that's why never again, the rest of my life, would I ever buy a vehicle from these uh, used car lots because I go, where, I go where they buy them from, you know? <laughs> so. Somebody said, somebody said on, on one of my comments the other day about the car, when I get a car, uh, you're saying you're saving up for a car and you don't have that much money. What are you gonna do when you get a car and, and what are you gonna do with insurance? And again, I said, I, I said it, listen, I pay like 40, between 40 and $60 a month in car insurance. I get liability, I get liability, and because I've been driving for over 30 something years um, and never had an accident, my insurance rates never went up because of an accident. I got a great driving record, no DUIs or anything like that. They see, they, they, all that stuff counts. And, and I go to the cheapest one I can find in North Philly in the low income area neighborhood. And I always find it, for, the lowest was $30. But now it's about between 40 and 60. But yeah, that's where, that's where, uh, uh, that's where I go and I get cheap insurance. Uh, and you guys know, for you that have been following my channel for a while, you just, you just get an idea, you, you have an idea how much I make a month. So $40 a month is no problem. Look who it is. Look who it is. Squirrely pants. Squirrely pants. Guess what I got for you, Squirrely? Oh my God, I left it. I gotta go back and get it. I had peanuts right here and I left it. <laughs> I have to go all the way back and get the peanuts. <laughs> I'm going to go back and get it, man. I can't let that go, man. I got to go back and get it. I go, but I'm going to pause this. Uh, no, I'm not going to pause. You can walk back with me. But, uh, oh, my God. 
No, that's not. I gotta pause some of it. It's a, it's a long walk. Uh, if you watch, uh, wait, what was that show called? I forgot the name of that show. Damn, ah, I ain't gonna remember. But anyway, it, it's a. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, do I really have to do this? This sucks, man. I have to go get my peanuts because I love my squirrels. Um, I set it on the ground. On my last upload, if you watch my last upload, when I was giving the girls, the two ladies, uh, medical supplies, socks and hats, stuff like that, I had took the peanuts out because they were in a bag and they were on top. Let me double check. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about, guys. on top and uh I, I found it I found it in my book bag I thought I didn't have no more peanuts left it was like a, like a quarter of a bag so it wasn't even a half a bag it was like a quarter of a bag and I, I, I didn't know that it was sitting at the bottom of this book bag that I'm wearing this book bag where I'm, what I'm wearing right now at the bottom there's a there's a hiding part where you put, you know, you put boots in it. And I had the peanuts in there. And I didn't know they were in there. So I took them out last night and I put the socks in there. That's where I pulled the socks from. That's why I couldn't find the socks. I thought I left the socks. But I remember I put it at the bottom of the book bag. It's like a, it's like a zipper with a hiding. It's like a hiding, like a part, a hiding part of the book bag. Of the backpack. And you zip it up and boots go in there. Sneakers or something. So I put the socks in there. Uh, the peanuts, I put it inside the green box here and I took it out and laid it on the ground when I was giving the girls their medical supplies. I apologize that I have to walk all the way back down there, but that's why I'm going to stop this video uh, so that way you guys don't meet, miss nothing. So I will be back, guys. Okay, let's try that again. Yep. Uh, Came all the way back to get it. I went all the way back and got it. And I come all the way back here. Uh, so, yeah. Once I see a squirrel, I'll show you. Uh, I brought peanuts with me this time. Yeah, because every time I come out here, I see a squirrel. And uh, last time I was uh, feeding, last time I was feeding squirrels was at the park on uh, Six and Walnut. And I called it Squirrely Pants Park. I haven't fed the squirrels in a long time. So. They're always here every time I come here, so. Got sandwiches, water. That's nice. That's nice of them. Um, Hop up in the hill. Uh, I hate walking up this hill. Um, yeah, this is this is the part, this is the part, guys, where the squirrels are gangsters. Yep, they're gangsters, you know. Huh? Dang, I don't know, but the squirrels around here are more hyper than the squirrels at Squirrely Pants Park at an old city. I, I think because there's so much drugs around here, like on the like on the ground. Um, I mean, I mean, is it possible that they eat it if they find it? I don't know. I think I think the fentanyl is too strong. They'll probably die. But I won't be surprised. I will not be surprised. It's very addictive, you know. They give me some squirrels around that are addicted to fentanyl. You might be laughing, but it, it's possible. It's possible. Uh, there's a cop right here. Uh, hello. Do you, you need medical supplies? Yes. You do? I also got socks and um, gloves and hat. You're good. You need some? All right. 
All right, let's see where we at. Oh God, so let's see. First things first, uh, non-stick pads. Everybody's been asking about them. I got the saline, saline water. Um, um, galls, 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 antibiotics, triple antibiotics. Yes, I got it. Um, mount tape. Uh, do you need an ace bandage? Two, I got you. Two of them. I got you. Two eighth bandages. Did I put these works in? I got works. Number 30. Number 30 works. Uh, I put non-stick. Yeah, I put non-stick pads in here. Regular pads. These are regular pads. Regular ones. These regular ones. Oh, I put the saline water in there. Yeah, I put saline water in there. The iodine. Some band aids, and that's the non stick. Okay, I'll throw uh, you want one or two toothbrushes? Two, what'd you say now? Yeah, I got saline water. Yes, uh, I can give you four of them. All right, it's in the bag. Uh, let's see what else I got alcohol pads, alcohol pads. I think that's about it. Yep, that's about it. That's about it. Here, here you go. Let me give you a cross real quick. Uh, yes, I got that. The the guy that made these, he want me to give these out to you guys. Um, yes, for it's it's for it's for a blessing. He he almost was killed in a car accident, so he made these and, and since he was blessed, he want to bless you guys. So. His name was Tom. His name is Tom, not was, is Tom. <laughs> I think I said was. All right, let me get these. You want, for both of you, you want hats and gloves? Um, yeah, one hat. One hat? Okay. One hat, one hat, two pairs of gloves. You need socks? Yes. Okay. Uh, I get the gloves, I get the uh, socks in a second. Here's one hat and two pairs of gloves. And you said you need two pairs of socks, right? Two pairs of socks coming up. That's down here at the bottom. At the bottom. At the bottom. Let's see. One. One, two. These are the good socks. These are the warm socks. These are nice and warm. Here you go. Nice and warm winter socks. All right. And God bless you guys. Take care. Put this away. This is the part. I'm putting everything away, but it's got to be done, right? It's got to be done. No, I don't have no water bottle. I'm sorry. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, anytime, man. Anytime. They call me the wound guy, Kensington. So when you see me with the cart... If you call me, if you need some wound, some wound care, I got you. All right. What's your name? Day. Day? Yeah. My name is Mike. Okay. Be safe out here, Day. Uh, close this. Close this up. My glasses. Whew. I got to take this off because if I leave it on here, it'll start bouncing all over the place. It'll start bouncing all over the place. Uh, recenter. Recenter. There you go. Okay, next stop. Um, matter of fact, no, next stop, I think this is the end of this one. Yeah, this is going on 18, 19 minutes too. So this will be the end of this video. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. Please, another upload tomorrow. I try to do one every single day. But I can't be here every single day, so uh, some of these uploads you see from this week is from today. It's just different content, same day, but different content. So I want to thank everybody for being here. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, notification bell. 
so you'll be notified when I go live. Thank you again, everybody across the pond, down under, all over the world. Check out my links in the description if you want to be part of helping people out here with the hats, gloves, socks, medical supplies. The link is in the description, um, Amazon wish list. Please help out if you can. I also have uh, all the links for donations, Cash App, GoFundMe, PayPal, uh, Buy Me a Coffee, Ask Me a Question. I even have Ask Me a Question. Uh, so thanks again. Remember, guys, love is the key. Drama free. Heal the past. Live the present. Dream the future. Health, peace. Love, health, peace, and happiness to all. Remember to the world, you're just one person. But to one person, you just might be their world. Thank you again. Love you guys. Ciao.